All right, Thing. If you insist, I'll try my experiment on you. I'm insisting. I've had it being Benji or Folders. I want to be me again. Test pilot Ben Grimm. My calculations show that it will take exactly eight hours before the change takes place. If it works. Big deal. I've waited this long. What's another eight hours? And I must warn you. During that eight-hour period, there may be side effects that are totally unpredictable. What kind of side effects, Dad? That's the trouble. I just don't know. Enough tongue flapping, Doc. Push some of them buttons, and let's get the show on the road. Well, all right. That's it, Thing. Only time will tell if the experiment was successful. Uh, do you feel okay? Yeah, fine. No worse than getting a haircut. Not that I need one. <laughs> it is now 9 o'clock. By exactly 5 this afternoon, we'll know whether you're back to normal as Ben Grimm or... Yeah, or as an orange clump of rucks and a skinny kid. Meanwhile, stay in close contact. Let me know at once if anything unusual or peculiar happens to you. But Benji was going to go up to the mountains with the kids, Dad. It's been snowing for days and... Sorry, Kelly. He'll have to stay here. Too bad, little lady. Doctor's orders. What do you mean you're not going? I'm not going, that's all. If you come, maybe I'll let you skate with me. I... I can't go. Betty, for Pete's sake, leave Benji alone. I get it, you're a chicken. You're afraid my incredible skill and grace on skates will make you look silly. Chicken, huh? Does it? Let's go. But Benji, remember what Dad said. Start driving. Now you've done it, Benji. I only hope you won't be sorry. I told you to watch out for rocks in the road. Oh, Benji, uh, be a good fellow and uh, change the tire, will you? Why me? I don't want to wrinkle my expensive ski pants. Or smudge his manicure. Well, the sooner it's fixed, the sooner we get there. Some nerve. They enjoy the scenery while you do all the work. Wow. Maybe we ought to put the top up. You're getting sunburned. Yeah, I am feeling kind of weird. This darn tire is heavy. I can't... Oops. I thought you said it was heavy. Whoa! Oh. That's... Strange. A moment ago, that tire felt light as a feather, and now... Talk about strange. Your suntan has disappeared. Huh? Hey, I wonder if it's... Side effects? Could be. I... Benji, are you going to take all day with that tire? I'm worried. Don't you think you ought to go home? It's... it's too late now. Ronald would never let me live it down. <laughs> Benji, it's easy. Just put one foot in front of the other. Wow! I never moved so fast and traveled so little in my whole life. Benji, you look like a stork learning to fly. <laughs> well, why don't you show him how a real expert does it, Ronald? I mean, jumping over those barrels should be a cinch for a champion skater like you. Uh, jump the barrels. <laughs> We, um, well, I, yeah, I can do it easy. Um, except for my trick knee. Ha! Trick knee. Weak knees are more like it. Now who's chicken? Don't call me chicken. Watch this. Hey, uh, well, that was just a... Uh, I can't see! got away from Ronald's heckling, you could learn to skate. Now you're getting the hang of it. Keep going. You're doing... <gasps> Benji, I mean, I mean, thing. I mean, what's going on? It must be those side effects. Gangway! What a revolting and cold development. I ain't got no control over nothing. One minute I'm Benji, and the next minute I'm a frozen pile of rocks. You've only got five hours left. Let's just hope for the best. And where are you guys? Oh, no, it's Ronald and Betty. We've got to hide you. Hide me? 
That's like trying to hide an elephant in an elevator. I have an idea. This is humiliating. The idol of millions playing hide and seek. Shh, they're coming. Oh, where's old Banjo Legs Benji hiding out, I'll bet. Oh, I'll just sit here till he comes out. I never saw anything as ridiculous as him trying to skate. Oh, he's got to be the clumsiest. Yeah! Oh, earthquake! <laughs> That'll teach that bragging brat. You shouldn't have done that thing. They might have seen... Well, Benji, you're back. It happened again. I didn't do anything. Wow. If that had happened a minute sooner, you would have had Ronald sitting on your back. So, you finally came out of hiding, eh, sport? Care to race me around the lake? Or are you afraid to compete with a pro driver? Forget it, Benji. You've only got four more hours to go. Why take chances? You're right, Kelly. Uh, no thanks, Ronald. Okay. Didn't I tell you Benji's chicken? That's what you said. What do you mean, chicken? Now, Benji! I'm not afraid to race you. Benji, no! Let's go! I'll be waiting for you at the finish line, Spart. <laughs> oh, no! I'm turning orange again! Why didn't I listen to Kelly? This is embarrassing! Thing right in a hopped-up sled! Just what I need. Well, at least ain't nobody gonna see me making a spectacle of myself. <laughs> Benji's nowhere in sight. I might as well take it easy to the finish line. No use overdoing it. Oh, that must be Ronald. Yes, again, Betty. Well, I see nothing happen. You wanna bet? How the heck did you come in first? Oh, superior skill, incredible ability, things like that. <laughs> well, not much point waiting for Benji. He's so far behind. He's, uh, he, he's, he's here. Of course. What took you so long? Uh, well, I felt sorry for you. <laughs> if I wanted to, I could have... Uh... Hey, wow! Look at that! I bet there's a great view from up there. Well, I also happen to know there is a restaurant at the top. Well, what are we waiting for? Hey, wait for us! No way, Slowpoke. Catch the next car. Unless you're afraid of hiding. Two more hours to go, Benji. You better wait here. And let Ronald call me chicken again? It beats being a turkey. Hop on and keep your fingers crossed. I hate to ruin your day, Benji, but you're turning orange again. Oh, no! And that could ruin a lot more than your day. I don't think that cable's strong enough to carry the thing's weight. Me neither. I just wish the thing had gone on a diet. What a revolting development. Meow! Hey, you're changing again. Oh, Benji, am I glad to see you. I'm feeling okay again. That's more than I can say. Well, finally made it, huh? Here, you want a bite? It's got uh, salami, corned beef, mayonnaise, horseradish. Uh, no, thanks. Gee, Kelly, you're turning green. Well, at least it is an orange. Well, I guess we should head back down. Oh, uh, what time is it? Just a half hour to go. We're going to stick around for a while. <laughs> uh, don't let us hold you up. Scared of riding the cable car, huh? <laughs> Ronald Radford, don't be a litter bug. There's a litter basket up there by the restaurant. Oh, very well. Uh, watch this superb display of Major League Pitching. <laughs> My foot slipped in the snow. That's not all that slipped in the snow, Major Leaguer. Look at that rock. Good heavens and avalanche, run! Here we go again. At least this time, the thing's arriving when he's needed. Now that's what I call a real snowball. Yipes! Oh, boy! It's gaining on me! Geronimo! That was close. Now all I have to 
to do is climb down and... Not again! Timber! This is beginning to get frustrating! Benji, are you all right? Oh, you're you again! I gotta tell you, little lady, this switching from stones to sneakers has gotta stop! The worst is over, Thing. There's only seconds to go before five o'clock. Then we'll know whether Dad's experiment worked. And you'll become Ben Grimm, the test pilot again, instead of my friend, Benji. Oh, I know how you feel, kid, but I won't forget you. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> It's you! Your dad's experiment didn't work. Look, cheer up. Dad will find something that works eventually. You'll see. Yeah, maybe. And besides, I'm glad you're still Benji. Well, I suppose things could be worse. Callie! Benji, where are you? I must get home for my fencing lesson. Things just got worse. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs>